So welcome to module 1.6 is the uh, sixth part of module 1 and uh, as we see uh, as part of this course we are going to build a small machine, uh, we are going to build a small hardware we call it hack, the hardware is called hack and that hardware we will be simulating as we have seen how to simulate small small gates we will try and build that hardware and build and actually simulate that hardware using that hardware simulator that we have been discussing. For that hardware we need many components, we have seen gates but we need a little more complex circuits. So some of the things that we will be seeing today or uh, in this module are multi multiplexers, demultiplexers. then multi bit gates, multi bit <coughs> multiplexers, multi way gates multi way multiplexers, then a combination of the multi bit multi way multiplexers. So, multiplexers or demultiplexers, we will call it DMUX. So, we will see all these 7 different components as we go through this uh, particular module 1.6. These are basically the building blocks on which you will build the hardware and each requires some small definition, we will just go ahead and uh, do it as a part of this module. Now, what is a multiplexer? Sorry. it is b driven by this symbol like for AND gate OR gate we had. So, the multiplexer is given like this A B, this is the select and this is the output, let me call it 0 1. If select is, this is a single wire, if select is 0, then output is A. If se else, select can be 0 or 1. So, else means obviously it means select is 1, then out is B. So, how do you arrive at this circuit? We arrive at this circuit by just saying. this is A, this is B, this is select, this is an inverter, and this is out, right. So, this is how we construct a multiplexer, very straightforward logic, right. What are we doing? When select is 0, we have to select A. When select is 0, this gate being an AND gate, this input is 0, this is always 0. And this being 1, A AND 1 will be A, right. So, if uh, the truth table for A, B, this is AND gate output. 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1 is 0, 1, 0 is 0, 1, 1 is 0, 1, 1 is 1, sorry, right. Now, let us take this A, one of the input is select, right. If this input is permanently 1, meaning these two entries 1 and 1, so the output is the other entry B, 0, 1, right. So, if one of the input of an AND gate is tied to 1, the output will be the other input 
So, if this is 1, so I get A and this is 0, A or 0 is A. So, when the select is 0, the output is A. Similarly, when the select is 1, what will happen? When the select is 1, uh, so select is 1, so this becomes 1, this becomes 0, so this becomes 0, 1 and b is b, so out becomes b. So, this is how you construct a multiplexer circuit, right. Now, we can easily code this multiplexer, right. right? So, so, how do we code this? We leave it as a simple exercise. Um, um, it should be, uh, so the what are the in, in is basically A comma cell and out in the chip in will be a comma cell and out will be uh, sorry a comma cell comma b and out will be small out. Then in parts you have to use a NOT gate for this, an AND gate for this, another AND gate for this and another OR gate for this and we will have one internal wire which I all internal wires I will mark in green, one internal wire let me call it as not cell or whatever any name, let me this be W1, this is W2. So, three internal wires which automatically gets reflected in the parts, right. So, we need to construct a multiplexer uh, using this and this is a very simple exercise, right. Now, let us see the next one which is basically uh, the uh, demultiplexer. What is a demultiplexer? Demultiplexer is opposite of multiplexer. So, I get in here If select is equal to 0, then A is equal to in, else B equal to in, okay. So, this is what we need, okay. So, for that this is quite uh, uh, straightforward. So, so, we can write this. So, this is a uh, two input, two output circuit. Till now, we have been seeing gates and then we saw multiplexer, all of them had only one output. Now, we are seeing a circuit with two outputs namely as you see here. So, how does that look like? Sorry. So, this is the truth table. Okay. So, when uh, in is 0, when select is 0, A should be in, B can be any do not care, we, we call it do not care, we do not care what is B and when select is 1, B should be 0, A can be anything, select is 0, A should be in, B can be anything, select is 1, B should be in, A can be anything. So, this is this is how uh, this is basically done here. Okay. Now, how do you arrive at the circuit for this? The circuit for this is we use uh, we use a technique called Karnoff map technique. I uh, will be explaining Karnoff map uh, in some detail uh, uh, in the part of this course, but it, it, it may not be necessary for us to do Karnoff map fully. Uh, mm, 
as a part of this course, which it is a part of a digital uh, logic course, but we will basically see some, some uh, orientation to Karnaf map as we go through this course, which is fair enough to handle this, uh, handle the complexities we will get. Now, what is this Karnaf map? So, basically we take, uh, right, we, we do not care what is A. So, A I can say is this is 1, right. A is nothing but, I can say A is nothing but in bar, sorry, in into select bar or in and select bar. So, this is A, in I have the select signal, this is A. this combination. In is 1 and select bar, select is 0 that means not of select is 1, select bar means not of select. Okay. So, now let us see what is A. Uh, so, when select bar A is, is needed only when select is 0, when select is 1 we do not care what is the value of A. A is needed when select is 0. So, when select is 0, this becomes 1 and A is always equal to in, right. So, 1 dot in, 1 and in we have seen already is always in. So, when select is 0, A is in, right, A is in, that is what we needed. Similarly, for B, it is very simple. So, you just put in and select directly. When select is 1, when select is 1, B is in, right. When select is 1, B is in. When select is 0, A is in, select is 1, B is in. When select is 1, we do not care about in. When select is 1, we do not care about A. And when select is 0, we do not care about B as you see here. Select is 0, we do not care about B, right. So, we do not we don't really bother what is B when select is 0. When select is 0, A should be in, that is how it has been defined. So, this is a very, very simple circuit that can basically uh, model a DMUX. So, for DMUX again, we will have sorry, we will have chip dmux or whatever and uh, in which the in will be uh, in comma select, out will be a comma b and then in parts we basically write uh, one not and then one and another and sorry, one, two ands here, one and for this, one and for this and one not for this. So, this is how we define a DMUX. So, where will we, we be using DMUX and MUX? We will see later and we may also try to look at uh, this uh, Karnoff map uh, as we proceed to, through the second module. Now, the other small things that we need to basically uh, uh, discuss here as we projected earlier are the multi bit gates. We have already seen multi bit gates, we have already seen not of 3, but actually we made it as not 16, but we saw not of 3. Not of 3 is nothing but 3 gates of this. We give uh, uh, A1, A0, A1, A2 and we saw out 0, out 1, out 2. This can go on till A15. This is called not 16s. 
60 okay there are 16 such gates and this is not 16 okay now we could also have say and we, this is and 16 or 16 how will and 16 work we will have two sets of inputs a 16 and b 16 which are arrays of size 0 to 15. So, what will happen we will instantiate 16 and gates and we will have also out 16 okay there will be output. So, a 0 b 0 will go here and I will get out 0 a 1 b 1 will go here we will get out 1 a 2 b 2 will go here we will get out 2 and then we will have a 16 and uh, sorry a 15 b 15 going here and it will go off out 15. If you can replace all of this by r currently this is and if I can replace then it will be multi r gate. Why do we need such gates because what will happen is as we we are the computer that you are going to build is going to process say integers right. So, integers basically you would have done your uh, basic programming course are represented in binary it will be a string of zeros and ones right integers in binary. For example, if I say 4 in in base 10 this is nothing but 0 1 0 0 into the base 2. What is 4? 4 into 10 power 0 that is what is 4. In binary this is 0 into 2 power 0 plus 0 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 2 plus 0 into 2 power 3. So, 1 into 2 power 2 is 4. So, this is how. So, 0 1 0 0 is nothing but a multi bit uh, vector or multi bit string and if you want to process such multi bit string we will have we need multi gates and that is why multi gates become important for your uh, architecture. We will also have multi bit uh, dmux or sorry even mux, multiplexes mux. So, I will have say so what is one mux? So, it was taking uh, a b and giving right. So, we could have a 0 b 0 out 0 a 1 b 1 out 1 a 15 b 15 out 15 right. So, this is a multi bit mux multiplexer and everything will have the same. So, let us say everything will have the same select signal ok. So, when I make select 0 your out 0 will be a 0 out 1 will be a 1 out, fif out 15 will be a 15. If I make select as 1 for example, then out 0 will become b 0, out 1 will become b 1 and out 15 can become b 15. So, this is what we call as a multi bit mux. So, we have seen multi bit gates, we have seen multi bit mux. Now, we can see multi way gates. This is nothing but I have 1 a 0 a 1 to a 15. I want to take the and of this one single and of 15 bits or 15 wires. We had seen so this is a multi way gate. So, this is a 15 way gate or oh sorry sorry 16 way gate 16 way and gate. Okay. This is a 16 way AND gate. 
Similarly, way I can have a 16 way R gate, I could have any n way R gate, right. So, so how do we uh, model this? How do we actually do this? Let me say chip my 16 way and whatever. So, so I could have in as a 16 out as oh sorry out capital out as out. So, how do we do this? So, basically then we need to one of the interesting thing is this entire and operation can be modeled as a 0 a 1 let me just say till 4 a 2 a 3 this will be a 4 like that I could have. So, this is the and of 4 bits note that the and operation is both associative is associative that means a and b and c is equal to a and b and c. So, it does not matter which way I am ending I need not and a 0 then a 1 then a 2 then a 15 I can and any of them in any order and get it. So, I just do a 0 a 1 first then a 2 a 3 first similarly a 4 a 5 a 6 a 7 like that and I can. So, this is the way I can and 4 bits like that I can take 4 such blocks. So, I will have 4 such blocks and then I will take these 2 I will take these 2 again and then finally, 1. So, let me say this is one block. So, I will have similarly one block driving this, similarly another block driving this, another block driving this. For this, I will have A4, A5, A6, A7, here A8, A9, A10, A11, I will have A12 to A15 here. So, I could have multiple blocks driving and then we will get. Okay. So, this is how we can make a multi way gate right ok. So, so this is also a very important thing. The other thing that we want to look at is a multi way multiplexer. Right? How do you do a multi way multiplexer? So, for example, I have 4 inputs let me say a 0, a 1, a 2, a 3 and I have 2 select lines cell 1 and cell 0. Let me call this if this is 0, if this is 0, 0 then the out should be a 0, if this is 0, 1 then the out should be a 1 if it is 1 0 then the out should be a 2, if it is 1 1 then the out should be a 3. Okay. So, this is how this is how we can build a 4 way multiplexer. Okay. So, how do you get the circuit for a 4 way multiplexer? A 4 way multiplexer can be done using multiple 2 way multiplexers. Okay, right? so, so, let us see this let us so how do you construct this you know how to do a 2 way multiplexer already we have seen this. So, we will give cell 0 here we will give cell 0 here and we will give cell 1 here. So, I give a and b for 0 and 1 and sorry a a 0 and a 1 and a 2 and a 3 here and this is 0 and 1 and this is out. Now, let us say what will happen when I am applying 0 0 to cell 1 and cell 0. 
so this is also 0 basically here a 0 will come here a 2 will come and since this is 0 a 0 comes right so when I give 0 0 I get a 0 let me say what happens when I give 0 1 So suppose I say I am giving 0 1 that is 0 to cell 0 and 1 to cell 1 uh, sorry 0 1 is uh, uh, 0 to cell 1 and 1 to cell 0 so I give this. So here a 1 comes and here a 3 comes and since cell 1 is 0 I get a 1 so out is a 1 when I give 0 1 suppose I give 1 0 suppose I give 1 to cell and 0 to this again here a 0 comes and here a 2 comes and since it is 1 I get a 2 here because cell 1 is 1 so a 2 gets in and similarly if I say 1 1 so if I put 1 so a 1 comes here a 3 comes here and if since it is 1 I get 3 so 1 1 means a 3. So a 4 way multiplexer can be built using 3 2 way multiplexers. Now you know how to construct a 2 way multiplexer that you use as a chip to build the 4 way multiplexer. So this is what we meant by hierarchical design in the previous in the previous module right next one the last one we'll be seeing is uh, uh, yeah, say let us say i want to make a four way dmux what do you mean by a four way dmux so i have uh, one input then I will put select 1 and select 0 this is demultiplexer so I have a 0 a 1 a 2 a 3 and I have input when when this I call it select this is 0 0 then a 0 should be in 0 1 a 1 should be in 1 0 a 2 should be in and 1 1 a 3 should be in. So how do you construct this circuit right this is uh, quite straightforward uh, so so the circuit for that is very simple so let us see I let us just mark these lines a 0 a 1 a 2 a 3 okay and then let us put an and gate here this is quite intuitive let us feed into all right a 0 should get in when select 1 let me call it s 1 s 0 for s 1 and s 0 are both zeros. that means s 1 bar is 1 and s 0 bar is also 1 and s 1 bar and s 0 bar should be 1. So I just say I have s 1 s 0 I also have their S1 bar and I also have their S0 bar here okay. Now S1 bar S0 bar the very simple way of looking at this right. So S1 bar and S0 bar both are 1 and in is 1 so A0 gets in. Now for any other combination of S1, S0 
except 0 0. So, if if I take if if any of this S 1 and S 0 are 1 right any one of them then this S 1 bar dot S 0 bar becomes 0 because if S 1 is 1 S 1 bar is 0 0 and anything is 0. Similarly, S 0 bar is 1 uh, S 0 is 1 S 0 bar is 0 0 dot anything is 0. So, for any other combination except 0 0 S 1 bar dot S 0 bar will become 0 and uh, essentially A 0 will not get in it will be 0. Similarly, what is A 1? A 1 should get A 1 should get in when S 1 is 0 that means S 1 bar is 1 and S 0 is 1. So, I take S 1 bar from here. So, let me just take another color. So, I take S 1 bar from here and I am taking S 0 from here. This S1 bar dot S0 will be 1 only when S1 is 0 and S0 is 1. For every other combination, including 0, 0, S1 bar dot S0 will be 0, right. So, only when I get S1 bar as 0 and S0 as 1, that is, whenever I get 0, 1, then only A1 will become in, in, right. So, now for A 2 let us take it is 1 0 right. So, S 1 should be 1 and S 0 should be 0 that means S 0 bar should be 1. So, for A 2 I am just taking S 1 and I am taking S 0 bar. So, A 2 will become in when S 1 dot S 0 bar is 1 that is when S 1 is 1 and S 0 is 0. And here for this we just take S 1 and S naught, S 1 and S naught and your A 3 actually becomes in when both S 1 and S 0 are 1. So, this is the condition, this is the condition for uh, A 0 to get in while this is a condition for A 1 to get in, this is a condition for A 2 to get in and this is the condition for A 3 to get in and all these conditions are mutually exclusive that is two conditions will not become one at the same point of time only exactly one will become S 1 bar dot S 0 bar will become one only when S 1 and, and S 0 are 0 0 only for this combination it will become one for the other combination it will be 0. Similarly, S 1 bar dot S 0 will be true only for the second combination and for all the other remaining 3 it will be 0. Similarly, S 1 dot S 0 bar for this combination for the remaining it will be 0, S 1 dot S 0 for this combination for the remaining it will be 0. Like that we get a 4 way DMUX. The last thing that we will see before we wind up this module is a 4 way 16 and which is 4 way and gate which is 4 way say 16 bit right. So, that means what I will have 4 ways. So, I will have 4 vectors A, A 16, B 16, C 16 and D 16 and what I need to do is and I will have some out which is out 16. So, this will be out 0 this will be out 1 and this will be out 15 like that we will have. So, we will go with A 0, B 0, C 0, D 0, A 1, B 1, C 1, D 1 like that A 15, B 15, C 15, D 15. So, this is a 4 way 16 bit AND gate. Now, you know how to construct a single 4 way gate and that you replicate it 16 times to get this ok. So, these are uh, these are some of the interesting circuits that you need to uh, do and uh, you need to understand and code. So, what we need to do as a part this first so I will just uh, sign off this first part of this course 
with a simple project which is already available uh, in the uh, website you have downloaded with the hardware simulator. So, let me just go into uh, that part and explain you. So, so go to NAND2 Tetris, inside NAND2 Tetris you have a projects folder, go to 0, 01. There you have several things, you have XR, you have R16, you have R8, you have just simple R, you have not 16, you have not, then you have MUX16, then MUX8 way 16, MUX4 way 16. Just simple MUX, DMUX 8 way, DMUX 4 way, just simple DMUX and 16 and for everything you have a test file. Okay. So, we have uh, we have the test file, a HDL file and a compare file. So, if you go to the HDL file, in this we just wrote the code, but you will not see this code in your thing, you have to write the code here. And what you need to do, you have to write the code and after writing the code save it here and there is already a compare file for this, there is a test file, TST file here. Okay. So, what you need to do is you open the hardware simulator after, after, so you have to take this HDL file and fill this part here. Once you fill this part, then what you can do is then go to, go to the hardware simulator which is inside the tools. If you are a Linux user, use hardware simulator.sh, if you are Windows user, use hardware simulator that opens. Now, you go in and now you can go back and see, uh, go to your projects, your 0 1 and sorry, we need not load the chip, actually we can load the uh, script directly. So, we can go back uh, to this, go to the projects, go to 0 1. For example, you have done the XR, so take the XR.txt and you load the script. And automatically that will take care of HDL out as I explained in the previous part and, and then you run it. When you run and it should say end of script comparison ended successfully as you see here in this part of this, right. So, this not only sees this, there is a compare script as I told you, this would be compared, your actual output will be compared with that and shown that both are matching, okay. So, like this we you need to do for all the uh, project 1 which is very, very, I am sure it is going to be interesting and it is also going to be simple, right for all this XR, R16, etcetera. So, let us go and see uh, one more thing before we wind up. Let us say I want to do um, in the projects in 0, 01. Let me say I want to do a R16, right. This is a script file. Let us say I am going to do R16 here. So, how do we do here? So, now I can say that I will put R. Uh, a equal to A0, B equal to B0, out equal to out 0. Right. So, this, this you have to keep repeating again and again for all the, so you just copy this and then uh, paste it. So, this now we got two versions, now you can take this two copy and paste. Now, we have four, now copy this four and then paste, this is a very easy way of coding this. Now, we got eight, now copy this. and then paste. So, now you have 16. Now, just go and make 
1, 2, 3, like that you can replace everything 4, 5, 6, but this is really taxing, right? It is boring. So, what, what can we do for doing such type of things? Actually, you can go to some website. So, let us say online C programming practice or whatever. So, you can go to code chef. Write a very simple program as you see here. So, for i equal to 0 to 16, just keep ask it to print. This is what you need, right? A, zero, a is a 0, b is b 0, out is out 0, a is a 1, b is b 1, out is out 1. So, you just go here and say run, type this code and run, and already you see the outputs here. So, just go here. Let us copy this, come back here, paste it here. Okay. So, this is slightly, yeah, it is not going to be that friendly, okay. just what we need to do is just keep putting an enter here. done. That is it. So, we have done that very nicely. So, this is, so you can now go and save this. Now, you can go back to your hardware simulator. You can go back to your hardware simulator. And you can load your R R16. Actually, we can load your R16. Instead of doing that, we can also load your script directly, R16 script. Now you see it is giving 0, 0, 0 as input, it is getting 0, 0, 0, 2 inputs. Then 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So, it is giving 6 different 16 inputs here. Now, we can say that let us go and run this. Good. Comparison and that is successfully. Now, we can see your output. So, 16 A's and 16 B's all are 0, you get 0. A is 0, B's are 1, then you get 1. A's are 1 and B's are 1, you get 1. Yeah, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, again you get 1, 1, 1. Some random values and you can check. It has been compared correctly. So, this is a very nice way by which you write a C program to generate hardware description, right? You actually you wrote a C program to basically generate this R16. Right? So, you can basically do such type of things and also note here some random values are coming here. Do not worry, this format of the output if you make it as binary, then it will give you exactly what is it. That also please note. So, now we have, you are expected to do this project 01 as a part of this uh, uh, module 1. Go to that project 01 and completely do all the exercises there uh, and run the script and basically see if things are working and then the module 2 will become very easy for you, right. Thank you.